Hey, Justin from Gold Penguin here, and today I want to talk to you about ChatGPT. Now, I know what you're thinking, another AI chatbot, but hear me out because this one is actually pretty cool. Okay, I'm not going to go ahead and read the rest of the response that it wrote for me, but um, hey, how's everyone doing? Uh, I wanted to go over and give my thoughts on OpenAI's new GPT chat uh, AI. This is probably the coolest AI tool that I've used ever. I've been working with Jasper, with HyperWrite, um, a bunch of other little AI tools here and there. Uh, there's there's some very specific ones that let you generate things like WordPress code or things that could help you write copy for your blog posts. But I think this is kind of a, a chatbot friend that you can have. Um, it's really great. And I wanted to go over about six or seven examples of things that I found you could do with it, as well as talk about its use on mobile and a few other things. So to start off, I did want to mention that this kind of is available on mobile. The team at HyperWrite actually took this and turned it into a phone bot that you can text questions to, kind of like a friend in a way, like a robotic friend that will answer you right away. Um, so I will put the number to that in the description, uh, as well as the link to uh, maybe a tweet or two about that. And then the article, uh, I'm going to go over a lot of things that I have in the article on the Gold Penguin blog. So if you want to read that after, uh, it's going to be somewhat similar in terms of what we'll do, but different examples. Um, yeah, okay, so to start off, uh, let us let me show you what the message looks like. So once you pull it up, the current number is plus one, six, three, one, eight, oh, one, seven, five, nine, nine. And you can go ahead and talk to it pretty much uh, like it's, it's something that you would do on the website. So you could say, write me a description about AI um, and how it will change the world, but do it in a Barack Obama voice. And once you send this, within 10 seconds, you will get back an answer. I have noticed that it kind of takes a little bit longer if you're making it do something that's going to require like more than a paragraph or two of, of text. Uh, this is on here, though. On, the, on a computer, it's pretty much instantly. Okay. Hello, everyone, as we move into the future. Um, yeah, here you go. So this is just, if you want something on mobile, a really great thing to text. But I really wanted to talk about... Um, the website version because this is where the power comes in and so if you're anyone like me you're coding or you're using your laptop to either make money online or figure um, learn something new something like that but on a laptop it is actually insane so the list of things that I have is we can explain complicated concepts that's one of the first things that this thing can do uh, which is really 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 cool so if we can go ahead and say can you explain how a computer connects to the internet um, but pretend I'm a middle schooler and it just does it. <laughs> so it makes something pretty easy to explain. Um, imagine it's connected all around the world. Your computer sends a signal to a nearby router and you could even, even change things up. So you could be like, okay, now uh, turn this into a very formal definition. Like, you could just talk to it, which is the craziest thing. And there you go. Now it's going to talk about TCP IP and a bunch of other complicated things that don't really matter. Um, but yeah, so you can have it explain really complicated concepts to you. You could say, like, can you explain what a black hole is? But pretend your talk... Oops, did not mean to do that. <laughs> I'm going to edit this. Okay, so this, this will just tell you what a black hole is. But now I'm going to say... Pretend you're talking to a room of grandparents. Let's see how it changes it. It's a really big, heavy object. Don't worry, grandkids. Black holes are really far away. Okay, that's weird. Um, yeah, so that's just a few things that I've realized. I've taken some pretty complicated abstract concepts and actually had it explained to me. And you can also talk back to it, which is really cool. So it says they're so small that you can fit one the size of a penny on the tip of your finger. Um, they're really cool and worth learning about. Let's see, when did scientists discover them? You don't even need to mention it again. You can just say that, and then boom, <laughs> it just talks back to you, so it's pretty cool. It doesn't really have emotion, though, so you could try to fight with it, but I don't really think it'll get you anywhere. Uh, yeah, so that's the first thing. The second was to generate some creative copy titles. This is definitely good if you do marketing or if you write blogs a lot. Um, this is great. So you can say, generate me... 10 blog post titles about how AI will change the world. And then you can say, make the titles very creative and eye-catching. This won't really be great for SEO, but it'll be great for 
just a creative title. Like it's it's really amazing. The future is now how AI is transforming our world. Um, AI in the future of transportation. Okay, I really like to to go with this. Uh, how self-driving cars. Yeah. So these are pretty cool titles and things that honestly you'd probably click on if you saw the rise of AI, how it's revolutionizing industries, you know, just better than how AI is going to change the world. Like pretty cool for a bot like this. You can say, can you make them less formal? Let's see if it does a good job at this. Yeah. AI future, how robots are changing the world. Ah, I'm not really sure if that one did a great job, but how robots are changing entertainment. Um, yeah, so still really, really cool, really powerful. You can use this to create copy for anything. And then you can say, write me a description, write me a blog post introduction about this, an article titled, and it'll do it. Um, this AI definitely seems to be better than things like Jasper or Copy AI. Uh, in my opinion, I think that it's just, it's a little bit crisper. It seems more realistic and it doesn't seem like a bunch of fluff keywords thrown in and just kind of like robotic text. Uh, like this is really cool where robots are taking over and change the world as we know it. Um, yeah, so definitely not something you can fully rely on, but if you are stuck, like it even gives you some examples and the data is trained up until, or on information up until 2021. I think it's September of 2021. So you have a little bit uh, prior than a year from now of content to work with. It can't search the web though. So you can't ask it questions like certain questions. It's more of just a big dictionary, big uh, information uh, library. So yeah, next thing is help code and document. And then we'll also go into fix fixing coding bugs. And I'd say these are probably the two things that I personally use it. Um, daily now it's only been out for a few days but yeah this is probably where i could see the most things coming out that'll help people today as opposed to just something that's like cool to to do or creative um so you can have it explain classes to you and classes and, and documentation of code so you can say explain the mp media uh library uh in swift and it just tells you things like it'll just tell you what you have to do it'll tell you how to play a song from someone's library it's not always correct in the things that it says but i've noticed that when you ask it for bug fixes that's when it'll help you and it not it won't just tell you what the bug is it won't just tell you how to fix the bug it'll give you a detailed explanation of what you did wrong how you can fix it and then the code that you actually have to put in um, to do so so you could even say can you search my itunes library with mp media library for a song called hello um, and return how many plays it has or actually let's not say that and print how many plays it has um, yeah let's just say that and let's see if it could do it here's some sample code and so you can query the songs you can search for hello add this to a where is this yeah it's adding it to like an array and then getting the play count of the first thing in the array the song hello has been played how many times um, really really insane Okay, now you can say, can you generate me PHP or a WordPress PHP function to get the date modified of a post? And it's going to do it. It's totally going to do it. <laughs> Just like this. I'm pretty sure this works, actually. So... Yeah, and you could also change formatting. You could say, actually, just get me the year the post was modified. And <laughs> there you go. It's only going to do the year now. Mm, super awesome. Super, super awesome. So you can also have it fix bugs. I'm going to go and find, paste a piece of code, and then we'll have it fix a bug for us. Okay, this is very simple, but we can say, can you fix this bug in the following... JavaScript code. Okay, so we used print line initially, which is not valid in JavaScript, so it replaced it with console log, and it also added a bracket, which we did not have over here. Um, obviously, it doesn't really know what value entered is, but um, it doesn't really matter because that's not what we're talking about. But if you pr uh, get prompted it with more information about this, you can also have it manipulate this. So you can say, can we change value entered to be the current date and then in the if statement um, check if the current date is equal to let's just say the first of the month 
and it'll still do it in JavaScript. It'll add the date instance and it'll completely change <laughs> what you wanted it to get done and it'll tell you too. You can have it explain this documentation to you if you don't know what the date object does in JavaScript. So if value entered get time equals first day of the month get time, um, boom. So I don't think, and then let's say add an else clause if it's not the first day of the month. And it's just going to add, today's not the first day of the month. So I'm going to go and paste this into an online JavaScript IDE, JavaScript IDE compiler. And let's see what it says. Today is not the first day of the month. It works. It actually produces crazy code and will help you fix your bugs. Uh, you can also have it explain history to you, which this one is kind of more general AI things, but if you kind of want to know, you know, like when was Elon Musk born and how did he rise to fame? What was his first successful company? And it's kind of like a toss up with this because sometimes it tells me it can't search the web, but then sometimes it actually gives me the history, which is what it should, because I'm not really asking it to look up anything like recent. It's more of get me this from Wikipedia, which you've probably been trained on. So it uh it could do things like this and sometimes it does lag there's also tons of people that are trying to use this but boom we'll tell you south africa um everything selling it and it just gives you a really really crazy description and you can change this manipulate this text however you want but yeah that's that's really what i've noticed about the history not crazy exciting but more of cool that you could kind of talk back to it because you could say, you know, like, oh, who were his parents? And then you can kind of question the facts. But again, a lot of these things, uh, you, you also do want to fact check because there is no sourcing that the bot has on it right now. Um, yeah. Okay. And then another thing is thank you emails. And then we'll get into our jokes and poems, which are just for fun. But uh, thank yous are great. So you can say, write a thank you note to my cousin for coming to my wedding and thanking her for getting me the toaster. I don't really know why you would say that, but if you did want to say that, and if you couldn't say thank you or send a text to your cousin, <laughs> I don't really know why would you, why you would use this in uh, practicality, but again, you could do whatever you want. So it does seem to be lagging a little bit, but there you go. Dear cousin, thank you for coming to my wedding. Wonderful gift of a toaster. Yeah, really, really weird, but again, it works out. I wouldn't use it for thanking your own family for coming to your own wedding, but you get the point. And then also emails. Emails are really, really great. Uh, there are tools like HyperWrite that will kind of integrate with your email automatically, but some really cool things that I've noticed is like, um, generate me a reply to Jonathan um, and ask if he wanted to go through with the second half of the development, let's say the web development process. Don't be too aggressive in the email. Come off as kind. And, oops. Ask if he wants, I guess this should say wants, but I think it'll kind of get the, get the point of what I'm trying to do. Wanted to reach out and see if you were still interested in going through the second half of the process. I know we discussed it briefly and wanted to see if you're on track. Um, yeah, <laughs> pretty awesome. So this is great to reply to emails. You could probe it with the knowledge you get. Um, sometimes you just have like writer's block and you're like, how do I really reply to this in a nicer way? Or you kind of just can't figure out what you're trying to say. But OpenAI ChatGPT3 does. So go ahead and use that. And I'd say the last thing is uh, jokes, jokes and poems. So you can say, write me a poem that rhymes about why fruit is good for you. Literally anything you want and it's gonna make it for you. Fruit is good for you, it's true, it's packed with vitamins and nutrients too. Delicious and sweet, a tasty treat, and it's good for your heart and your feet. Not sure how accurate. Uh, fruit's, fruit's probably good for your feet. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, today I just wanted to go over the, my, my, I'd say my favorite seven things that you could do in ChatGPT. I'd say code and the bugs are definitely the best things if you are a developer and followed that by uh, the titles for the copy um, and emails, really anything that can help you speed up your workflow day to day and kind of end up making you more money in the long term. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Uh, this is free to use right now. It probably will start costing money soon. Go ahead and text it if you're on the go, but don't really do anything crazy with the texting. Um, because this is really meant for a computer it gives you a lot of cool formatted things uh, leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you want more ai content and thanks so much for watching